All right, guys, welcome back for the third episode of this uh, app tutorial series where you'll be learning how to uh, create an app using Firebase, Flutter and Block. The third episode right now will focus on the user model, so create the user classes. And to do so, let's jump right into the code. So remember last episode, we've dealt with the uh, app structure, so creating folders, files. And remember under the packages folder, we created this user repository. So it's exactly here where we'll do our work today. So you are gonna expand the user repository, navigate to the lib folder, source folder, and here you have models and entities and you will open myuser.dark, myuserentity.dark. And basically those are the two classes that we will be creating today. So let's focus first on the myuser class. But before we do that, we actually need to import a package and this package is gonna be equitable. And so you'll navigate to the perspect.yaml file of the user repository and under dependencies, add a quotable 2.0.5. So you can find a quotable here on pub.dev. And basically a quotable, what it does, it's gonna allow us to compare objects by using a double equal, and that will be very useful in uh, the future of our app. So once that's done, you can close your uh, perspective.yaml file right here. And my user class is gonna actually extend a quotable and that's gonna import that. Okay, perfect. So you're gonna have a little error right here saying that you're missing an implementation and that's totally fine. That's totally normal because you're missing the uh, pros. Uh, so you can just go ahead and implement that and except instead of throwing an exception, you can just return an empty list for now. We'll deal with that later. So basically what our user is gonna be uh, filled with as parameters. So let's go ahead and create those. So we'll have, first we'll have a string as an ID, a unique ID to identify our user. Then we want to have a string for the email so we can authenticate the user well with the email. We want to have some sort of name of username. So we'll just call it name. And finally, we want to have a picture so it's going to be a string as well because we'll be storing the url of the picture and the picture can be empty for instance when you create your account first your picture uh, will be empty so for that we need to create a constructor so the constructor is going to be pretty straightforward so i will remove this token because we don't need it but basically retaking all the parameters that we have right here then we're going to create a couple of different methods. So we're going to first create the empty method right here. Same, I'm real, I remove token. But here, an empty method is basically when we are going to create a, a user, a my user block, a my user object, sorry. Uh, and we want to fill those parameters with some kind of data, but empty data. That's the method that we'll be using. So then, because the class here, my user, has final parameters and a constant constructor, we cannot modify those fields once we've created our object. And that that's something that we don't want. We actually would like to be able to modify so those fields. But here, if I'm not putting all of those final and constant constructor, because we are extending the quotable, we'll have some problems. So we're gonna create a copy with method right here under our empty method. So saying I'll remove the token because we don't need to send notification right now, perhaps in another video. So the copy with method is very straightforward. So it's gonna return a, a my user object and it's taking all the parameters of our class and is returning, I mean, an object that was fed with the parameters that we've pasted into our copy with method. And if not, with what the object already has. So that's pretty much that's pretty much done for the copy with method. Then we can add as well two little getters is empty or is not empty. That might be convenient in our code in order to know if the user what type of, of object we're working with. And then it's right here that we'll need to add our ID in our pros, uh, our email, our name and our picture. And here it's very important because then it allow us to compare with double equal 
the, 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 the class object. So now we want to create two methods that are actually going to be extending those my user entity that dart right here. So we want to create a two entity method. And this basically is going to return a my user entity and we can import our class because remember, we didn't created this class, but here it is. Uh, so we can import actually uh, entities. So that's what we'll do. And you'll see here that we are fitting in with the same parameters that we have right there. So the two entity method is done right now. We'll fit in later. And now we have to create a from entity method that we'll create right here. Again, I will delete the token, no need for it right now. And basically, so two entity is going to take our user object, right? And paste it into a my user entity object. And that's going to be useful to then transform to JSON format in order to send it to Firebase. And the from entity method is going to take the JSON that we'll have from Firebase, transform it into a my user entity object, and then transform this my user entity object to a my user object. So that's pretty much done for our user class. So I will collapse that so you have a more clear view of what we've built right here. So now let's go ahead and copy that because the my user entity dart is going to have the same class parameters as the one that we've just created and the same type of constructor. So we can just reuse what we've done except modify the my user with some my user entity. And you see here in my user dart, the errors that we had right here are away because it match our my user entity class. So basically here, uh, we want as well our my user entity to extend equitable. So I'm going to do that right now. And same missing an override right here. So let's implement this override, which is basically a list of all the parameters that we have in our um, class. So in our my user entity class up and that perfect. And so here we need to create two methods, a two document and a from document. If you want a to JSON and from JSON method. So the first method, the two document method is going to be laid out as follows. So basically you are just mapping out the field parameters of this my user entity class to a map with the name of the parameters that will be reflected inside our Firebase Firestore database and fed with the data provides inside those parameters, those class parameters. So that's very straightforward. And then we want to create the from document method and that retakes the same logic. So basically we'll take as a parameter of this function, a map. So the map that we have from Firebase, right? And we want to return a my user entity object exactly as I explained. And that's what we're doing here. And we are selecting the ID file, the ID parameter in the map, right? Pasting it as a string and fitting it to the ID parameters and doing that for the entire class right here. And so that's pretty much done for what we want. I like to create a two string method as well in this class. So I'll just go ahead and, and do just that. And a little tip here, if you want to have your string extending on several lines, instead of just doing a string like this, which you won't be able to on several lines, you just do three uh, stuff like that. And that will be able, you'll be able to uh, extend your string on several lines. So once you've saved that and saved the my user dart, you're pretty much done for uh, the uh, user models that we'll be using inside our app. And you don't need to as well uh, modify those entities and models files because that was done in the previous videos. So perfect. Uh, let's uh, end this video right here and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be uh, actually creating the sign in and sign up method using Firebase authentication. Bye guys.